Shards of glass are still embedded in this tree after an extremely violent early morning crash. But as the doorbell camera on this home shows us, things could have been much, much worse. It's not the first time Junius Merriweather has heard this horrifying sound. It happens all the time, and I know that living here is dangerous. But this crash was different. The impact of the crash sent the windshield right into Merriweather's front door. I jumped back because it's like it was really coming at me. My porch is full of glass right now. There was a windshield on my porch, so luckily, Thank God there was no no one there. He helped the passenger get out, but the driver was stuck because of how badly the car was damaged and died. Because of the nature of the crash, we've intentionally stopped it before impact. But officials think this kind of video is what people need to see in its entirety to make the streets safer. Folks should see that video and and internalize what happens when you drive recklessly. Alderman Cavalier Johnson says reckless driving like this is running rampant both in his district and the entire city. And no matter how much people see crashes like these, the only way to make it stop is by taking a stand when friends or family drive so carelessly. Take it easy. Be safer. Make smarter choices when you're behind the wheel of a 2,000 pound missile that can kill you or anybody else around you, then I think our streets would be much safer. Alderman Cavalier Johnson says that he's going to make sure MPD puts speed enforcement signs out here so people know that they need to slow down. But it all goes back to the driver to make sure that they take their actions extremely seriously. Near 76th and Hampton, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4.